Welcome to this corner of the world of mine. This is your host Ryan and today I'll be talking about one of my OCs. We have an adorable being from the, the corner of my imagination. Her name is Austin, you see? So basically she's going to make her appearance. I didn't quite get her design down as yet, but I thought this would be fine since I'm using this medium for expression. In this instance, I'll go through the thought process of this painting you see happening before you. Then I'll go over a story of how I lost memories because I decided to be cheap. It's one of those things where you thought it was fine, but you see, you just see your memory shatter into a thousand pieces. Alright, so to begin, the initial rendered drawing had an issue with how I connected the thigh with the hip. And as a result, the whole thigh and leg section was out of proportion and off perspective. This wasn't very good. Because sophisticated rendering has a way of masking misproportioned anatomy. Many spectators and friends would often say, something about the drawing wasn't quite right well I can say right now it was definitely the thigh and leg this painting of Austin there's a context of her being at home in this town she finds herself in she's allowed to work at her age part-time anyway and she's at the home of her employers before being interviewed, she says hello. Hello, Austin. And that's the basic idea of the piece. Nothing more to it right now. I can't really disclose any more information, but that's the basic idea. I like making up characters. Maybe I can publish independently one day. Who knows? As for the story, let me spin you a yarn. Do you know about those cheap, no brand, high capacity SD cards on eBay? Well, on one unfortunate day in the summer of 2017, I had purchased a 32 gigabyte. Let me tell you why that was bad. So in this same summer, I met a guy at work that I later became good friends with. I was a cultural exchange student in the United States at the time. And near the end of that summer, he invited me and another co-worker out to spend the afternoon with his family. He has a wife and three children. I wanted to save the memories, so I went ahead onto eBay and bought that SD card to take videos at the outing. So in retrospect, I was being cheap. I was being very cheap because I wanted to save money. And I saw these high capacity drives, so I thought it would be fine. But being that it was $5.71, I should have probably thought that it might have been too good to be true. But that's that will be seen. So at the event, we're there in the park. I was able to record three videos with my friend, with my two friends and one of my friends family family but later on that day i recorded two more videos on top of those three upon reviewing those next two videos i saw that not one single one of them would play i was so disappointed you know i kept the files for a while long after the summer was over and i, and I had gone back home and after a while I just got rid of the files because I didn't know what to do with them. Years later, I believe it was in 2019, I found out that the same SD cards, what happened is that you have Chinese manufacturers where they'll program these same SD cards to, to read off a false value. Like for instance, it could be just a 4GB 
but it says 32 or 64 gigs so how these work is that they will work like regular cards but if they pass their true value and you try to write more information to it the computer will allow you to do this but it will overwrite currently existing information and that's pretty bad it means that the information you had before won't be readable even though you might see the file they are just the same so I learned from that to never buy no brand no no name brand SD cards ever again and to look up the reviews of those weird brands so there aren't any issues because you never know you never know all right so thank you if you've made it this far into the video I really appreciate it a whole lot you know there well my channel hasn't been going on with a whole lot and I'm aware of this at this point I just do what I feel like when I feel like and if I'm ever going to revive this channel it wouldn't really revolve around a lot of the content I used to do like the, the gameplays and so I still do gameplays but I'm not gonna go after a whole bunch of them I'm just going to pick the ones that I like really but otherwise from that there will be a lot of art related things that I'll be working on on and off scene so even though you don't see my YouTube channel very active I'm, I'm very active online otherwise so you can always follow you can always find me with the links you see in the description below with all the social media handles I'm most active on discord these days but you can also reach out to me on, on DeviantArt, ArtStation, Instagram, even Twitter. I'm trying to get out there a bit more and I think this is fine. I've just decided to put more focus into art related stuff. But I'll still do these videos, I just won't do them very often. So if you've been following my account throughout the years god bless your soul but you can find me on these platforms if you ever want to talk to me directly about stuff and yeah, yeah that's about it so hmm, that's it really i hope you enjoy the rest of the the speed paint and if you have any questions about it, you can also leave that in the comment section below as well. And as always, remember to stay sharp out there and I will see you again next time.